Hello to all the participants and organizers of the 8th United Cities and Local Governments Asia-Pacific Congress. I hope you are all safe and well. COVID-19 stands as humanity's greatest challenge today. It requires strong cooperation among leaders in the international community as we try to slow its spread and blunt its impact, especially on our most vulnerable sectors. Now more than ever, we are called to embrace our shared responsibility to safeguard the well-being of our peoples and direct our efforts to concrete and immediate action. Indeed, the pandemic has changed the world as we know it, and with it comes a great deal of uncertainty. Despite this, here you are, refusing paralysis, taking the initiative to learn how to better contribute to society. This gives me hope, because if there is one thing COVID-19 has reminded us, it is solidarity that paves our way forward. The bigger the challenge, the greater the imperative for us to put our heads together in pursuit of a shared goal, to survive, to adapt, to build a truly better normal. The keys to this better normal, perhaps, already lie deep within our heritage in the form of values that remained intact throughout our history. In our country, one such value is Bayanihan, which links heroism, Bayani, to the community, the Bayan. To engage in Bayanihan means to act together with the community, to exhibit communal responsibility, and the spirit of cooperation, solidarity, and collaboration, knowing that the only way through any challenge is together. At the office of the Vice President, we have been fortunate to witness the power of Bayanihan in our daily work. The initiatives in our COVID-19 response operations, whether it's the donation drives and PPE production, community learning hubs for students in need, or our efforts to help decongest hospitals through our free teleconsultation service in Bayanihan e Consulta, all of this became successful because of Bayanihan. Because, true to the values of our heritage, Filipinos from all walks of life, from big companies to ordinary citizens, came together, helped out, and did what they can. Our experience has shown that a crisis of this magnitude calls for a massive strategic response. And this can only be achieved by leadership that is able to pull everyone together towards a common horizon. Leadership that enables and is enabled by Bayanihan, that empowers and nurtures, that includes rather than divides, that breeds empathy, which is ultimately a sense of solidarity with our fellow human beings. From this will emanate the strength that allows us to put in the hard work day in and day out towards the future we envision. This is our challenge today, not just to celebrate the past or to deal with the present, but to reimagine the future, to take the best of our heritage and use it to face this crisis and build a truly better normal. This celebration is a good place to start. And as you work to nourish Filipino languages, arts, traditions, and history all over the world, I hope you also keep the flame of Bayanihan alive. Concretize it, expand your circles of compassion, and embody communal responsibility in your work. Reach out to more of our fellow Filipinos and increase the number of communities you are able to help. Strengthen your bonds with one another during this month and beyond. Wherever we are, let us pursue leadership that harnesses Bayanihan. This is the legacy of our forefathers and foremothers. The idea that empires can be toppled, storms weathered, and that the waves can be braved, entire oceans crossed, if we pull together. That the horizon will always yield dry land, if we approach every journey with solidarity, grit, and compassionate resolve. Together, empowered by the best of our heritage, I know we can build a truly better normal. A world that is better and fairer, that is more just and compassionate, 
where we can all thrive and prosper. May you have a fruitful conversation today. Thank you at mabuhay kayong lahat.